Gunplay was one of the most exciting things about Warzone, but in recent times, it has now become a burden that we all have to deal with. Guys, I'm Shadow Drain, and in this video, we are going to be discussing what made the gunplay so good, and now, why it is awful. So guys, if you do enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button below, and consider subscribing, and I also want to know your opinions on this matter. But without no further ado, let's get right into it. Yeah, so let's just start off with what the gunplay used to be. So before we had any Black Ops Cold War weapons in here, spoilers, that's a big reason why it's boring now. Um, we also had weapons which had variety, you know? So long barrels and short barrels and unique properties that you could get from ammo mods. These were This was how the game was built. The game was built so you could fully customize your weapons. For example, the gunsmith. Whereas with the Cold War guns, the gunsmith feature was quite clearly shoehorned in um, last minute. But anyways, that's why the Bible will get that bit there. What I really liked about the gunplay when Warzone first came out is the fact that you could do anything you wanted. So if you wanted to convert an, an AUG into an assault rifle, you could do that. If you wanted to convert the M4A1 into a sniper rifle or into a submachine gun, you could do that. If you wanted to rock an ultimate grenadier class, rock an underbarrel grenade launchers, a scope, your 60 round mag, you could do that. If you wanted to bomb around with an SMG and then have yourself a little short range sniper rifle, you could do that. And the game it provided a lot more in terms of play style. Obviously, you could run around, you could use, you know, obviously everyone did run Ghost back then too. But you could run smokes, you could run stuns, you could run flashes, well not so much flashes. You could run restock and snapshot grenades. There was plenty that you could do. And I feel as if this is one of the more beautiful ways the game could have been played, you know? Everyone had a different play style. And there was a time, especially around Season 4, 5 in Warzone, when there was everyone, like Modern Warfare, well, Season 4, 5, when people were just running around with literally anything and everything. Season 6, I believe it was, the last one, or Season 7 before, before the integration. That was a really good one too. Everyone was running around with a variety of weapons and they all had their pros and cons. If you wanted to go high risk, high reward, you could absolutely slap the SOCOMs on and send people back to the Gulag with ease. However, if you missed just one of your shots, odds are you were getting sent to the Gulag. So there was a fair trade off between risk and reward and it was really, really good for balance. And now, this is the bit where it gets a little bit negative because as the Cold War integration happened, not only did it happen in December, it also happened broken. You know, when the integration happened, the DMR was absolutely ludicrous. I called that the DMR was going to be absolutely ludicrous before it did, just before New Year. And yeah, I can't say I'm surprised what happened. And then, of course, the FFAR came out, and instead of getting a day one nerf, that got a reactive skin you could buy for a few months before they decided to tackle that. So that was really bad crack. And now, of course, we are in the era of the Farah or the Krig. And I just feel as if since these new weapons have been brought into the game, they've taken away the charm of the gunplay that, that Modern Warfare weapons had. Because, like I say, Modern Warfare weapons were designed with depth, they were designed properly. Yes, you did have a couple of outliers that did need a bit of a nerf here and there, but it wasn't like game breaking or anything like that. Um, not unless it was a bug. And, you know, I feel as if these weapons had, they all had their unique place. Even if one was a meta pick, it wasn't an overwhelming meta pick. Now, this is kind of where I feel as if Cold War really, I want to say struggles, but not really. Like, it's. The gunsmith feature in their weapon creation system does feel, it doesn't even feel like a copy and paste, it feels like it's been shoehorned in. It has less depth, it, it's less fun, and on the whole, everyone just builds the same stuff. You pop your task force barrel, your field agent grip, your agency suppressor, uh, you pop on your sights, and then and then you pop on that reticle for that sight, and then you usually just pop on an ammo attachment as well. No, like. You could do so much more with with Modern Warfare Assault Rifles, for example, and now it, it's no fun. Now, this was all fine up until, I would say, about a, about two months ago, uh, or three months ago. Basically, at the start of Season 3, whenever that was, that's when things started to go really downhill for gunplay. Because, yes, there was broken guns, but the rest of them were usually alright. But now we're in a situation where they're nerfing all of the... Nerfing all the Modern Warfare weapons. So the ASVAL, Ultimate Risk Reward Weapon, 
What? You're using that? No, you will use the Craig, you will enjoy it, and you will buy a blueprint for it, damn it. We're nerfing that. Alright, fine, cool. Um, I'll use the Modern Warfare MP5. No! No, you will use the Cold War MP5. It has more recoil, it's worse in every way, but you will use that. And if you want to use your Modern Warfare, well, good luck, because we're nerfing it to oblivion. And then people started using stuff like the M13, Grau, and, you know, like, and it was just a case of, right, okay, we're nerfing all the assault rifles, except the ones that have expensive blueprints. Um, okay, whatever. So it, it feels a bit shady, and it, this really bugs me, because the more, the more that they try to, quote-unquote, balance this game, the more they just try to, the more the they're putting Cold War weapons in there, which are not as fun because not as much time has been created and put, sorry, not as much time has been created, not as much time has been put into the gunsmith mechanics, not as much time has been put into the actual balance of the gameplay, and not as much time has been put into the depth of the weaponry. Whereas on the on the one warfare guns, you had all that, and that's what made for truly exciting and engaging gunfights. But now in Warzone, all the gunfights feel the same. And that is a massive problem for me. Like, I don't want all the gunfights to feel the same. There's assault rifles now that can kill just as quickly as semi-automatics. Like, that shouldn't be happening. Semi-automatics should have that risk-reward aspect to them, which has always happened in the past, especially in the Modern Warfare era, where, yes, they're a bit riskier to use. However, you can drop someone quicker if you're using them. Now you don't have that capability. Foul, after it was OP, got nerfed to be made fair. Then it got nerfed again soon after. What the hell? Uh, EBR, yes, it still uses sniper rounds, but you can use the Cold War equivalent, which uses its own special rounds of AR. What? No, just put it in the same classification and give them AR rounds too. How is that fair? No, you will use the Cold War versions. No, the Cold War versions are crap. They have no depth and they're rubbish. Like, this is the big problem, and Vanguard weaponry is not going to be just as bad, because if you look around, if you look around the grapevine, everyone's saying, like, who's involved in development of that game, and are leaking things, they're saying that this game is just as bad, if not worse, than Cold War, and has less time going into it. That's a massive problem. They're also dealing with a massive lawsuit at the minute, which is definitely going to be distracting in the quality of the game. Cold War, sorry not Cold War, because that, that's already dead, but Warzone is dying a small death. And I will be bringing out what I'm going to be calling an Ultra Special. Um, so this is this kind of video classification on the channel just goes down as a special, but an Ultra Special is going to have like really high production value. Um, to the point where it actually costs me money to make it. Um, so not so much for this one, but it's going to have the same level of time. I am going to be talking about the downfall of War, Warzone and kind of why it's happened. So... Yeah, guys, hit hit like and let me know in the comment section below if you want to see that. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What are your thoughts on this situation? Of course, you have Rebirth, which is a much more funner game mode than Warzone. However, it is just to be said that that doesn't make the game, the gunplay, any different. As the gunplay is obviously the exact same based on mechanics and guns and stuff like that. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I do want to hear what you guys think. Um, I'm I'm now recovering from that situation where I created a gun guide video and then they nerfed it on the same day. <sighs> but yes, <laughs> I am um, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the Apex at the minute. And to be fair, when I am playing Warzone with a full squad, uh, I do I do enjoy it a little bit. But this but that's because of the company I'm with, not so much the game. So yeah, we'll have a look at that. We'll see if there's other metas I can poke through because if, if I bring out my EBR again and that gets nerfed to Oblivion, I'm straight up done. But guys, that's me. Hope you take care. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next Shadows Rain A1A video. Peace.